So the video is done and of course we would like to share it on our social media channels. So let's go to the share option. From out the share option, you've got the option to uh, share it to a local location. So let's say your desktop. So I'm gonna save it to my desktop or any other location. It's gonna estimate the file size. In this case, a little uh, under 90 MB. Um, and of course, there are some advanced settings over here, which will uh, either increase or decrease the, uh, the size and the quality. Um, so it's uh, now set onto automatic, but we can change it into uh, Facebook or YouTube preset. We can change the resolution from a uh, full HD, which is the same as my original footage. Uh, go to uh, 720, which will uh, lower the file size um, or put it onto 4K. Uh, but that doesn't make any sense because of original quality of the video. Um, but that will uh, increase the file size, of course. But it doesn't make it any better uh, because it just isn't 4K footage. So let's leave it with automatic. We can play with the frame rate as well. Audio channels, stereo, mono or no audio in there. And we can play with the quality, uh, which also will lower the file size, but also lower the quality. So I'm more than happy with um, automatic. And let's uh, leave everything in its default. So now we can export out the video and we've got our mp4 file. If you also want to upload it to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram or Behance, you can uh, enable one of these options. Uh, Instagram still wants you to export out a video um, and upload it through your mobile device. Um, so, but, but YouTube can be done. Um, so when we enable YouTube, we can sign into our account. I'm currently signed into my own channel. I can add it to one of my playlists, can give it a name and a description. And of course, to be found on YouTube, you need to uh, add in a bunch of tags. And eventually we can um, yeah, export out that video as well. So now when we export out the video, it will start rendering and uploading our video to YouTube for you to share to your followers. And I think you've got the idea that it will uh, work. Um, so I'm gonna cancel my uh, render because uh, what do you do when you want to have a, a square version as well? Um, I'd like to uh, make a backup copy of my uh, sequence like this in the uh, full HD format. Um, so I'm gonna go into my project archive, see everything that's in there, uh, going through all these assets, which will leave me down below with a uh, sequence number one here it is this is my sequence um, we can tell by the little icon in the right bottom corner and this is my timeline um, it's got a three dotted menu so when i uh, select that menu i can duplicate this sequence and now i've got two of those um, and in my second sequence i can change the orientation of my uh, uh, screen um, so i can go from landscape to portrait like this uh, and of course you will notice that i need to do some adjustments in here to make it uh, to make it work so i can either scale up the video or fill the black bars with a nice creation on the on the back end side but um, yeah and we can easily make sure that the bottle is inside like this um, in this case i would like to make sure that i've got a square video for instagram um, works out perfectly maybe just selecting the video and drag it aside a bit there we go and um, yeah that's what you need to do throughout the whole video and that's what you need to do throughout the whole video just check your shots um, do you see what you want to see in this new expert ratio and do the titles uh, come out good enough maybe uh, when there's a lot of text i need to scale in or make the text a little bit smaller there we go because people will watch this video on their mobile device which is quite small so probably you will end up with uh, using large texts on the screen There we go. Uh, 
you've got the idea so this is how you can alter your video by making a duplicate of your sequence and then uh, yeah altering every single shot if needed and then share out your video again and that will give you a nice square video so this is uh, Adobe Premiere Rush CC. Uh, it's just dropped in uh, October 2018 at Adobe Max. Uh, a brilliant new tool uh, which works on your iOS devices like your iPhone, iPad and of course your desktop computer. Um, and it works through the cloud. So your video files are stored in your Creative Cloud uh, and that makes it uh, possible for you to work on any device and create your social impact video as quickly as possible. My name is Matthijs Klaasner and I'd like to see you again in another tutorial.